We have two more chapters of Junie B, first grader, turkeys we have loved and eaten, and other thankful stuff. Chapter 11 is called The Feast. May's mother was the last guest to come to our room. She was carrying three bags of food. I did a sniff. Something did not smell delicious. It was the stewed onions, I believe. Also, it was the beans and squash. My stomach did a flip-flop at those stinky smells. I took some deep breaths to try to calm it down. Here's a helpful hint. Deep breathing does not work that good when you're smelling stink. Finally, I did the word block and I held my nose. Mr. Scary snapped his fingers at me. That meant please let go of your nose, I think. After all the guests were sitting down, Mr. Scary said a welcome speech to them. Welcome everyone. Welcome to our feast, he said. Room one would like to thank you for bringing this delicious food to help us celebrate Thanksgiving. After that, he gave the children a nod and all of us shouted, thank you. A lot of rehearsing had gone into that. This is going to be a wonderful day, said Mr. Scary. So please grab a plate and let's get started. We let our guests go first. That is some kind of guest rule, apparently. Room one lined up behind them. Only too bad for me, because someone took the lid off the stewy, pewy onions, and the smell almost knocked me down. My stomach felt sickish and rumbly. I hurried to the end of the food line. Mr. Scary saw me go, but this time, he did not get mad. Instead, he made an announcement to all of the children. Boys and girls, Today is a celebration of all the things we're thankful for. And since each of us is thankful for different kinds of food, just take the food you love most and enjoy every single bite. All of us did a breath of relief. Then things got even better because Mr. Scary walked over to the supply closet and he pulled out one more bag of food for our Thanksgiving feast. And its name? was Nipsy Doodles, shouted, oh, Nipsy Doodles, shouted Lenny. Mr. Scary brought Nipsy Doodles. He ran to Mr. Scary and did a high five. After that, we could not wait to get our plates of food. It was the tastiest Thanksgiving dinner I ever even ate. I had turkey and carrot sticks and Nipsy Doodles and cranberry jelly. Herb had turkey and carrot sticks and two giant plops of applesauce. Lenny just had Nipsy Doodles, and that's all. Plus also, he took four napkins. It will make my grandmother feel good, he said. After we finished eating, all the children walked around the room, and we thanked our families for the food they brought. Thank you for your crunchy carrot sticks, I said to Herb's grandmother. Thank you for your huge big turkey, I said to Lucille's Richie Nana. Your napkins were delicious, I said to Lenny's grandmother. After that, I thanked Mother and Grandma Miller for the cranberry jelly. Then Grandpa Frank Miller picked me up and he spun me all around real happy. Frank would be fun in my real actual class, I believe. After we got done with our thank yous, Mr. Scary said he had one more happy surprise for us. Then he looked in the hallway and he did a nod. And guess who came in next? Mrs. Gutsman, I shouted. It's Mrs. Gladys Gutsman. Mrs. Gutsman is the bestest lunch lady in the whole entire world. I sprang out of my seat. Hello, Gladys Gutsman. It's me. It's Junie B. Jones. Mrs. Gutsman was holding two pie boxes in her hands. She put them down and waved at me. Hello, Junie B. Jones. Hello, children, she said. Congratulations on winning the thankful contest. She took out a pumpkin pie and she held it up for everyone to see. Boys and girls, I baked these pumpkin pies for you myself. And I use my own family recipe, she said. These pies will just melt in your mouth. Lenny looked at me and rolled his eyes. Mine will be melting in the cleanup sink, he said. Ditto, I said. Ditto is the grown-up word, for mine will be melting in the cleanup sink, too. Herb's face looked bluckish and sickish. I just want to get it over with, he said. Lenny nodded. Let's do it, he said. Let's hurry up and get our pie, and then we'll do a quick spit in the cleanup sink, and it will be all over. Mrs. Gutsman started dishing out the pie. Me and Herb and Lenny took a deep breath. 
Then we quick ran to the pie table and we each grabbed a plate and we ran to the cleanup sink speedy fast. We looked at the pie, we made sick faces. Then we took another deep breath and ready, set, go. All of us sub shoved some pie in our mouths. After that, we stood there very still and we let it just sit there. It felt cold and squishy. I smacked my lips a little bit. Herb and Lenny smacked their lips too. Then one, two, three, gulp. We swallowed our pie at the exact same time. And wowie, wow, wow, that stuff was delicious, I tell you. My head had confusion in it. Wait, hold it. I don't get it, I said. I hate pumpkin pie, but this pumpkin pie tastes delightful. Herb smacked some more. Yes, he said, it does taste delightful. Lenny did not talk. He was busy licking his plate. After he finished, he looked up and smiled. Mrs. Gutsman is magic, he said. All of us laughed real happy, because that was the answer. Gladys Gutsman is magic. We hurried back to the pie table for seconds. Thank you, Gladys, thank you. Thank you, I said real loud. This is the bestest first prize I ever ate. I ran and hugged her real happy. Mrs. Gutsman did a chuckle. Then she leaned down and she hugged me back. And she said, don't call her Gladys.